Assalamualaikum. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Biological Sciences Statistics. And uh, here we have uh, confounding and uh, blocking in factorial experiment, two factor factorial experiment, right? And it's chapter number seven, I think, of uh, Mentongri book. Right here we, we have an example of 7.2. We will solve it on SPSS, right? And, uh, here we have four different factors A, B, C, and D. Its uh, data is taken from table 6.11. The previous chapter, you can see that. And the values are 20 less in block 1 and block 2. We prepare block. How we can decide the we, these value come in block and there are three different ways uh, for blocking. But here uh, I will just mention about the plus minus method. The value of minus in one block and value of plus in one block. Right. Uh, the confounding if we want to confound A, B, C and D. If we confound A, B, C, D, then we take the values according to this. If we want to confound A, B, then we take the value of plus of A in one block and plus of uh, the minus values are in other block. Okay. Uh, all right. Next is uh, SPSS data entry, response, factor A, factor B, factor C, factor D, and blocking. Right. Is a low level and high level of each factor? Okay. So just a correction. Low level and high level of each factor. Uh, response in scale and factors are in nominal. Right. Then we go towards data view. Uh, we have entered the data 25, 71, 48 in the similar way. If you have any difficulty in this aspect, uh, please see my previous video. How to enter data on SPSS and uh, you can watch the, our example on uh, 3 factor factorial, 2 raised to power 3 factorial experimental design on SPSS. You will learn about the decision of the entry of the data regarding factors, low level and high level, right? And according to plus minus method, uh, we can found the RBCD and we have uh, the blocks, block 1 and block 2, and I have mentioned them over here, right? Then after entry of data, we will go towards analyze, and we want to check the general linear model and univariate. Okay, I want to mention one thing that uh, we we will compare our result with book. So we'll see which values are bigger in book. That's why. A, B, C, D, and their effect. We can make compare the sum of scale over here with all of these values if we have. But I will just uh, calculate these values as the book as mentioned in book. Confounding on based on the confounding. These are the confound. And in confounding, the important thing is that uh, after confounding, if we have a material for, uh, suppose we want to perform an experiment, and our treatment combinations are uh, 16, right? And we have a material to conduct the experiment for eight different uh, trials, eight different treatment combinations. So then we will divide them into two different blocks, eight treatment combinations in one block and eight in another block and we select randomly and four different treatments combination in from one block and four from here right and as uh, i mentioned that i want to compare the results with uh, with the example of book so i will select those four from here which are uh, so, a, C, D, A, C, A, D, and A, B, C, D for block uh, mean A, B, C, D is confound here. The value of A, B, C, D is equal to blocks. Okay. Here we go. And response. These four are in uh, fixed factors model. Here we take the decision about these values. 
we select uh, four of these experiment or eight different combinations as per our uh, design but here i am going from the to take to take them from book uh, from book we have uh, effect of main effect effect a factor C uh, factor D and fact combination of factor A and factor C factor A and factor D and then we have blocks block for RCB A, a B C and D four different factors I just choose these uh, uh, if treatment combination because the results are displayed in book. I just want to compare the results. But you have to oh, choose the treatment combination that are the requirements of your experiment as well according to example. Right. Then we go towards continue. Options. Main effects of all of these. And descriptive statistics and continue. Okay, it mentioned that we didn't uh, take the factor B because uh, in the book with the example, in example, there is no value for factor B. So I didn't choose that one. If you, if your experiment have a requirements, you can choose. If you didn't choose, then it's, there is no issue. It's okay. Select the okay and continue. All right. We have an over table right over here uh, factor a right 1870 390 855 1314 and 1105 the similar results are we have obtained on spss 1387 for blocks and here this 1387 for blocks right okay i will explain about the uh, Nova table that there is significant effect of factor A, significant effect of factor C, significant effect of D, the significant effect of interaction AC and significant effect of factor AD because these values are less than 0.05. All are significant, right? I hope you have enjoyed the video and thank you for watching. Like my video, subscribe and press the bell icon for new coming videos. Thank you. Allah.